take your kids because you're not pumping fluoride or vaccinations in them. Even though they're five times more likely to abuse your children. Absolutely. Doesn't matter. Let's just ignore numbers and facts. And the ADA even went on record to say, yes, fluoride is not safe for infants. This is on record. But that's why at the store, it's everywhere for infants, for infants. Absolutely. Because they want to get them while they're young and make sure that brain's damaged. <laughs> exactly. Because they're nice people. Exactly. Very nice loving. And this article goes on to say the mother said that despite the fact that she is careful about allowing the kids to play outside or stay over at other people's houses, I'm sorry, um, because of related childhood trauma of her own, she is being harassed by authorities because she is one of the only two families that allows my children to play outside in the neighborhood. And she said just today, quoted, I allowed all four of my children that were all together to play in the field adjacent to my house, oh. I could literally see them outside in my kitchen window. My 10-year-old ran home to tell me. Arrest husband, her now. Yeah, arrest her. And But then when the foster parents the state gives them to, they're allowed to drown in the pool, whatever. That's never an issue, that you're five times more likely to die in CPS custody, seven times more likely to be sexually abused. But that's not an issue. Nobody's going to watch them. Oh, look at the Oath Keepers, baby. Uh, I forgot the young, uh, it was an infant girl. They got her back from CPS care, and the, the diaper was full of blood, and come to find out it was sexually molested while on the CPS care. And it was, I think it was Maine and New Hampshire, and there was uh, that. Yeah, well, they keeper. suspected yeah. that. Yeah, just, just, just terrible news. I, I, I remember that story. Uh, moving on to the one I was mentioning, the, the yeah. loving RFID. Oh, the uh, RFID, which is... Uh, San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. Let me get to that. Well, I didn't mean to get you out of order. Start, start back where you're at. Let's run to these articles. We've got a bunch of them here. All right. Well, another one here, McDonald's, Nickelodeon, uh, all these uh, places are collecting data on your children. I mean, they have all these, even the Cartoon Channel. Well, have your kids sign up to play games, give information. Now they're asking for uh, friends' email addresses. I mean, the article goes on to say uh, websites accused of collecting data on children which is ain't nothing new. This is a technocracy that's coming upon us. And again, you're not supposed to sit there and ask children for data as an adult because the parents are the guardians, not the state, because children are not at the age of consent to give data, and these groups are preying on children. Absolutely. And they got a coalition here of nearly 20 children advocacy. Uh, Health and public interest groups plans a file to file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission on Wednesday, as certain that some online marketing to children by McDonald's and four other well-known companies violate federal law protecting the child's privacy. And uh, groups of well, I mean, crack dealers always go after kids to get them hooked on it, and McDonald's full of all the additives and things that are addictive and toxic. I mean, they're McNuggets. They admit have silicone in them. Oh, but People won't believe that. Pull that up. McDonald's, Nuggets, and a bunch of other fast food has silicone. But hey, who cares if you have kidney failure? Who cares if everybody's getting diabetes? They love us. Damn, oh, yeah. it's the and, same reason they put CPS fluoride. You do the, if, if, you, if you, you don't, don't hurt them, well, exactly. Yeah. If you don't give them chemical weapons, you're a bad parent. And the sites are uh, General Mills, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, uh, Subway, uh, Gen another General Mills, uh, Tricks World, uh, Turner Cartoon Networks, McDonald's, I mean, HappyMeal.com, Nickelodeon. I mean, this is disgusting, Alex. It really is. And it really disturbs me because I got a child of my own. And uh, to know, I mean, this, I still got a stack of news, folks. And, uh, and, 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 and again, they go to a free online uh, deal they think is free to play a game or whatever. It's asking them these questions. Yeah. It's just like a perv or something coming over in the schoolyard. And saying, hey, uh, now let's continue on uh, with the next story. Um, we got a video on this if you want to play this in a minute. Uh, I just want to touch on uh, parents' concern that uh, cafeteria palm scanners will implant the mark of the B system on the child's hand. Oh, just getting training them to body scan, to buy and sell, and now they're coming out with the Facebook cameras where you get discounts when they run your database. I mean, sure, they admit it's all happening, but what's wrong with that? Oh, uh, nothing at all. That's, you know, it's biometric, our kids. This is from Louisiana Public Schools' decision to purchase palm scanners to speed up lunch lines and payments to, uh, to reduce uh, the line. You and know, track what you do, like Chicago won't let parents pack their lunch. You gotta oh, buy yeah, it got from that. the loving state. I got that. Yep, I got that. And um, this is totally totalitarian, George Orwellian, folks. And uh, we got the video. If you want to play the video on this, real quick. Graham and its cafeteria, but the palm vein scanner is being met with opposition from parents. KPLC's Holly Carter brings us details. 
I was very, very mad, disappointed. Many parents felt that way Monday after reading a letter sent home with their children from Moss Bluff Elementary School. The letter introduced a new program, the Palm Vein Scanner, much like this one, to move students through the lunch line at a faster rate. With almost 1,000 students, Principal Charles Calderera says the system will reduce errors. We're so large, and with an elementary school, they all come through line, the line. Now, here's the deal. They do this for the school lunch program, but also paying kids. It's to track you. It's to acclimate them to be prisoners. This is the admitted plan. You have these school administrators that are told they'll be given federal money if they install these, just like they've been caught using laptops all over the country to, to watch kids at home. There are school issues that they call free that are taxpayer paid for. The schools are how they're taking over the community, deliberate dumbing down. Charlotte Isserby, former head of the Department of Education Policy, this is the plan. And uh, the Still parents are fighting back. Oh, the answer is pack their lunch, boycott their crap, okay? And get your children out of the government training camps. And this is more disturbing now. I mean, the, the hand scan is one thing, but now you got right in San Antonio, Texas, the North Side Schools, I believe this uh, the high school and the middle school, uh, right in San Antonio, we got a video for this as well. Uh, a new program being tested at some Northside independent school districts that tracks students using a smart student ID tag. And I watched the video, basically they have, um, on the Lancet, they have, it uh, looks like a, a pass, a regular student ID, but has an RFID embedded. They put chips into animals and stuff to track their animals and things of that sort, but I think this is overstepping their boundaries. It's huge, and I have to wear it like a dog collar. The program will require students to wear new, thicker radio frequency IDs that will allow administrators to track them on campus. This smart student ID card is designed to help us locate students in an emergency if we have to. It will also allow us to manage the attendance better so that we can get more revenues for the particular school. Now, according to the video, they say where the student goes, they can track the child, and they, they quoted though, they had to state. Once a kid steps out that door, they can't track them no more, which we know is, this could be a lie because look at the uh, laptops in Pennsylvania. And uh, this is, I mean, we've got a lot of kids and parents who are against this, and yes, some parents are for this, but... And notice it's drones, microchips, scanning. It's San Antonio school districts are the ones that have a Department of Defense thing, an AI computer that watches what they eat and calculates their calories. Did you? In fact, people won't believe that. Guys, uh, did you pull up the thing about... Uh, about McDonald's and okay show the nuggets and then this is from about six months ago just you know adding this whole theme here Dan uh, yeah there's the article about a little silicone and petrol in your McNuggets hey why not it's addictive highly toxic neural order loves it but now the Department of Defense has AI cameras watching what the kids eat and creating a database I mean this is just they're absolutely training them for the brave new world oh it is and another related article this is back from uh, November 2009 uh, old, uh, from my own state, uh, Rhode Island, uh, old governor, uh, Donald Kacheri. Now, there was a bill uh, that was set up to go against the RFID chip, and uh, the schools in Westerly, Rhode Island, wanted to put RFID, RFID tags, that's radio frequency identification devices, onto the children's backpacks. Now, a bill went toward, you know, the state house to say, hey, we want to stop this. Of course, the governor says, no, veto, bang. And uh, moving on, uh, again, what Alex is talking about, Harriton High School in, um, in Pennsylvania using laptops to spy on kids at home. Now, this is on record. They were giving kids laptops and looking what they were doing in classrooms and also what they were doing at home. I mean, this is to tolerance police state, folks. Well, these are pervs, too. It I is. mean, this is government schools that want to be inside your life. And another one article here, children four years old to be fingerprinted to borrow school books from a library. I mean, come on. You know, this is just totally ridiculous. And well, it makes perfect sense. Right it's, it's, a, it's super lockup, um, super max. And another fingerprint uh, scans to replace lunch money. And but what's worse is in California and other states, the schools got caught shooting kids up with vaccines without consent. They always say it's an accident. Now they just say, we have a right to and we're doing it. It's, it's, it's illegal, by the way, but they have police with guns. We've now reached a point where they're just lawless criminals doing whatever they want. Continuing. Absolutely. And now, again, uh, we talked about earlier, Chicago school bins, some lunches brought home from school. So, God forbid, folks, you were to give your kid organic food or something that's actually good for them, not fortify with fluoride, not fortify with the GMOs. You know, if you were to give your kid something good, they can't bring it to school. Well, it's, yeah, it was some school districts did it, just a total ban 
on bringing school lunches. You've got to buy it from the company store, from the plantation. I mean, it is disgusting. And, uh, the whole thing is what's going on with the children, okay? They are being misled. And uh, I'm not... Well, yeah, you, you, you give them over to a predatory government. The schools are really federally, globalist run. Uh, and they've bankrupted everybody, and they take the property taxes, so you're so poor, you got to put them in the public school. I mean, these are just nightmare hell facilities. It is, and I'm misleading the kids. And uh, I just want to say one thing with Jesus. Jesus Christ, our Savior, says, anybody who misleads children, okay, it is better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and drown in the ocean, because that's nothing compared to what's going to happen when you meet the face of God. You know what? You know, I just want to address the, the elite CPS and all that. You know what? If you want to do this to your kids, you do it to your own kids, okay? You no, I actually don't do it to any kids. But I've had them on the show. They brag they don't do this to their kids. They don't give them it. vaccines. But man, they love leave, hurting leave kids. Leave our kids alone. We, we had enough of your crap. Leave our kids alone. And we're standing up against you. And I want to say another thing, too, on behalf of myself. Uh, the ADL attacking you and all these other federal agencies. You know what? You want to attack Alex, you're going to have to attack me as well. Because you take one patriot, you're going to take them all, brother. And you've got a whole InfoWars staff full of patriots who are going to go down with Alex Jones as truth warriors. And, you know, Alex, I'm going to stand right here, right by your side, brother. And uh, whatever they have to bring after you, they have to come after me as well. Well, there's no future if we don't beat them anyways. Exactly. So well, We are going to beat them in the I mean, we have nowhere that. to go. There's nothing we can do but fight these people. Exactly. We're committed. Yep. They're committed to their evil. We're committed to doing good, and, and that's the I'm end of it. I want to say to you, um, I made a, uh, a covenant with God. I did. I said, I want to be, I make a covenant with you to be a thorn in the side of the New World Order. Every my, my last breath, I lost relationships over this. I lost families, friends, I and mean, all these guys are saying so the same thing, but um, I want to be a thorn in the side of the New World Order, and whatever I could do to do that and to bring the truth out to you people out there, just like Alex does on a daily basis. And, and I see now, Alex, folks, and I got a lot of people on my Facebook, uh, YouTube, and everything. Oh, uh, you're working for uh, a Jesuit. That's like, first of all, you don't even know what a Jesuit is, okay? You're working for uh, uh, inside or whatever. It's like, if you've seen this guy, what he does on a daily basis, <laughs> You would feel uh, so stupid. And, um, Alex well, most of those are just operatives game. getting weak-minded people to, away from the truth. I mean, I mean, the truth is everybody knows the world government's here, and we can make it about Alex oh, Jones, or, or, or we can make it about the New World Order taking over. And when the gas prices keep going up and everything starts falling apart, remember, the New World Order did it. Exactly. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here is fight these people. Uh, before you read the daily quote here, and we uh, go out to break and come back with the head of the Rutherford Institute with the good news that the... Um, that the Marine who was grabbed by the Thought Police has been released because of everybody's prayers and attention. Um, it's good to have you here on board. You're doing a great job over on the radio shop with all the great folks over there, and uh, we enjoy having you, Dan. Thank you, Alex. And, and, you know, God's blessing your covenant. I didn't know that you made this covenant a long time ago, but now, see, you're here on a... On a Higher, uh, you know, playing field against the globalists, and that's what God and does. Where else it's better to be on the front lines of the world order than Infowars.com. Where else? Well, I mean, God like, looks at the heart, and that's what matters. Exactly. And 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 believe me, if you want to fight evil, and, and you're dedicated, and you just start taking action, the doors will open. And Absolutely. I want to say that to people out there watching, big things have small beginnings, and uh, just start engaging the lies. Start standing up. And stop trying to overplan things. So many people just try to overplan and plan. They have these big plans. They never launch anything. Do something small today, and we'll bring down the globalists tomorrow. And while you're on that point, uh, I want to make a point to you people out there. Years ago, I started listening to Alex about 2004, 2005, and one day I heard him. I'm like, this guy's great. I mean, he's telling a lot of truth. And he says one thing. Don't take my word for it. You have to get up and take action on your own. And I did, right then and there, because all the knowledge I obtained, you know, of studying New World Order and everything else and what God's given me, I'm like, you know, I'm going to take that. And uh, all of a sudden, a radio show falls into my lap. I become a radio talk show host. Uh, I founded our own section of We Are Change in uh, Blackstone, Rhode Island. And I started going to, uh, you know, going to rallies, uh, putting my own rallies on protests. And I took action. I got out there. And I got all the, I mean, if you Google my name, I hate boasting about myself. But Google oh, it's an name. example of success. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And it's all, you know, I mean, I know you don't like the thanks, but, you know, thanks to you. And most of all, thanks to uh, my Lord Jesus Christ. You know, that's the number one thanks. And uh, you you also, man. And uh, I know you don't like the praise or whatever, but uh, you helped me to, you know, because it was a fire inside me all my life. I always knew it was something wrong with this world. And you ignited that fire. You said, you've got to get up and take action for yourself. You had one of your great rants. And, and I mean, I just jumped out of my seat. I'm like, you know what? The very next day I went down, I forgot where it was. I think it was a tea party meeting. And they were endorsing Sarah Palin. I mean, it just, you know I mean, just lit me on fire. And I went down there. I took action. I had the bullhorn. I mean, 